Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video. This is a live attack. This one coming from a midweek war against Mariana Trench, and it is coming down to the wire. Last hour here, I'm attempting base number 12. Uh, gonna be an important three star. Not the end of the world if I don't get it, but you guys will see the situation once we go into Clash of Clans. This is an important attack for sure. Um, briefly, there are Teslas there. There, this base has been attacked like twice using air. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and use some ground troops. You'll see what I mean in a moment. And uh, right here, basically um, we know there's a few giant bombs on the outside as well. There's one like right here and one like right there, um, which is important um, as you guys will see from my attack. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop, drop a wizard right here to get these two buildings. I'm going to drop a uh, my queen up here you can't really see but she'll be up there with four healers. I will uh, drop Actually, this is a little bit too early um, Get those giant bombs back um, before all of that uh, Giant baby dragon gonna try to get all four of these buildings. That would be great value uh, But not the end of the world if I don't once again uh, but giant baby dragon there baby dragon here and a um, a haste and three loons to get that, then get the archer tower. So it can get pretty good value through all of that. I know there's no air traps here because of the last attacks. So um, basically gonna just get all that stuff taken care of at the beginning. Then I'm gonna drop the wizard, then my queen. Um, she'll step up. I don't wanna have to use anything on her, that's really important. So I'm probably going to, actually I might switch up my troops and bring a Valk to help take out the king. Or something because I want to make sure that the um, it's doable if I just invest a little more troop space to make it so the king uh, does not take out my queen I don't have to use her ability or a rage or anything um, hopefully these two will be down the archer tower uh, she will grab I'm gonna wall breaker in right here when the time comes when everything's tanked let the queen walk in here should be pretty easy on the funnel um, come in get the inferno as soon as the CC comes out and I might have to pop her ability at some point, but we'll just kind of play it by ear. Um, if I have that poison left over, which hopefully I do, I'll poison the CC. It's a hound loon. So deal with that. Um, the expo may or may not be on her. Hopefully it's not. That'll free up a rage. Uh, the rage is contingent. I might have to use it on my queen, depending on how things go. But as that's happening, the funnel will be created. I'm gonna drop a jump, the king, and a CC of bowlers, plus like three of four of my own to get in here, get the queen, get some of this stuff taken out, push inwards. Um, at that point, I'm going to uh, deploy my hogs. So basically gonna drop them all on this cannon right here, freeze, use the heal when needed, the first heal maybe in this area, uh, the second one maybe around this area, um, something like that. We'll see how it goes. I have a few balloons for this Tesla to also work their way in and then some archers for the corner. So a little bit complicated. Um, if the queen goes good, I think everything will go good. Hopefully I don't have to use too much on her. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut away here and you guys will see me right before I attack. Okay, uh, a few minutes later here, I took a, a moment to look at the base again and adjust my army, turn on the do not disturb right there. Don't want anything funky happening. Uh, basically, I dropped two archers for seven barbarians, dropped a hog as well to make room. The idea being the barbarians can do the same job in terms of getting the builder's huts, but also I can use like five of them to, uh, to tank my queen to help lure and tank the barbarian king. So that might help save her a few hits there. Going to the war, um, actually looks like there's been an attack. Yeah, what? Oh, okay. I got dipped. Well, perfect. But anyway, this Town Hall 11 base has two stars, so we can get two more on that. Then there's two tens down here. Uh, we can get two more on those. So that's a total of four stars. By the way, Genesis, awesome stuff. Um, c bouncing back after that last war. We're right up there with Mariana Trench, have a good shot at winning. Big shout out to Genesis, but you can see, I think there's, um, as we go through the year, yeah, four Town Hall 10 bases, it looks like, for them, and then two for us. So, uh, definitely going to be a close war. Going to make sure I have my troops one more time, and uh, yeah, everything looks pretty good. Got the spells. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go here. This is the base number 12. Just make sure I you know, know what I want to do. Baby dragon there. Dragon. 
loons right in that area. Um, it's pretty easy to follow after I get that down. It's a nice sequential flow. Queen goes well. I think I might have a good shot at this. Um, we'll see. Okay, last time. Yeah. Got the five wall breakers. That's good. I might need it. Okay. Let's get the giant baby dragon going. Drop the giant kind of far out here to uh, to make sure only the archer tower hits it at first. Okay, baby dragon. Baby dragon. Haste. One, two, three. There we go. It's going to be okay, cannon. Yeah, it's still going to be up. Let's get the wizard going. Queen. One, two, three, four. All right, get the barbarians going just a moment. They're kind of going to the side here. Come on. Easy does it. All right, we're good. And one, two, three, four. All right, things looking pretty good here. Okay, let's get the jump down. Jump. Actually, I might just start my, yeah, start the king. Um, maybe he can take the Lava Hound. That might be better, almost. The queen doesn't have to deal with it. We'll go ahead and rage it up. The queen's not going to need that. Um, my poison. King. We'll see how this goes. The Lava Hound's on the queen. Let's get these hogs going. Cannon went down somehow. Alright, all the hogs going in. Freeze the Inferno Wizard Tower. Heal. Queen's still up. Get the next heal ready. Let's see. Might as well get the loons down now. Maybe they can come in and help out. Oh, 45 seconds. I don't... Do we have a wizard out there? Yeah, no. yeah we do. Uh... Yeah, I think there was some spring traps, maybe. Yeah, that hog is about to go down. Mm. Don't have any barbarians left either. I used them all. Hmm. This one's not going to go for a triple. We'll pop the queen's ability here, but... Oh, man, it sucks. I, the last, like, three attacks have been unsuccessful. But hopefully you guys benefit from these fails. Because um, I know, personally, I don't that much. I guess I can learn from my mistakes, but that's about it. Um... Would have liked to get the triple here. We'll see what adjustments I could have made. Am I going to get? No, 88%. I think that's the same as the last attacker. Oh, well. One defense left up. Um, hmm. Okay. See what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, okay. We'll go ahead and take a look at the replay here. Give a... That face. All right, let's see what could have gone differently. Um, timing was definitely an issue. Uh, that would have been something to possibly adjust, maybe drop the, as soon as the, I drop the wall breakers, just go to the king, get him in. Queen would not have to have dealt with the hound. She would have done more, of course. Um, but this was all good. And I think these balloons down here actually get the cannon taken out too, which is phenomenal value. Yeah, the haste takes them over to the cannon. They get blown back into it. Awesome. Um, let's see, uh, up top, the wizard, and the queen's up here as well. Here she goes. The barbarians, a little bit excessive. I think maybe just one, two, or three. Like, three three barbarians would have been fine. 
I ended up using all seven. Didn't save anything for the builder's huts. Not that that was the only thing, but uh, if this was going to actually be a three star, I probably would need a barbarian left over for the builder's hut uh, right here. They aggro the queen and the in the or, or the uh, the king and the queen can take the king out pretty quickly with the tanking there. Um, good thing I brought five wall breakers because the test died and the first one died to the cannon. So I needed the, I needed three to get through the wall there and I had five, which was the minimum I could have brought. So uh, good thing I went you know safe on the wall breakers. This is a good entry right here, but it's time consuming. Down to 140 already and I'm just starting phase two of the attack. This stuff should have been going as soon as my wall breakers went down, about 15 seconds earlier. That way they would have taken the Lava Hound. My queen could have just started going, and uh, I don't know where she would have targeted, but if she, if the queen did not deal with the Lava Hound, if she had the possibility of rerouting back around outside the base, she could have taken out that entire compartment down there with the cannons, the archer tower, the town hall compartment right there. So, um... That could have been a big difference maker. Um, would have saved the queen another 30 seconds it took her to deal with the hound. So um, a lot of little adjustments that could be made. There's the freeze and the heal. I don't know if I mentioned those in the... in the um, Maybe I did. I can't remember if I actually mentioned what spells I was going to use. But um, spells are spells. Yep, uh, this one, of course, kind of fades out towards the end right here. Just too much for the hogs to deal with. It's very uh, hard to use hogs at Town Hall 10 with the high amount of damage. And uh, looks like I hit a few spring traps, a few skelly traps. Uh, yeah, had a few ground skellies, which is surprising. And even a few pups peeled off onto my hogs at one point. So just too much for them to handle, plus not enough time for cleanup. So that'll be it. Hope you guys liked the video, even though it was a fail. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Oh, live attack. Let's see how this is going. Okay, had to cut away there. It was a fail. I don't want to show a Town Hall 11 base by accident if it ends up doing well this war in case they want to reuse it. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's a fail right there, 41% as you can see. This one's going to be a real nail biter. Still have three attacks. We can still get two dips there plus our one Town Hall 10 attack remaining to get a two star on their 11. So four stars for us. They can get one, two, three, four. Um, four stars there they have six attacks they're gonna need some 10 v 10s but they have a shot too this is gonna be a good war um you guys will hear about the end and uh yeah got some cool stuff coming up on the channel especially for 25k subs so close um see you guys in the next video bisectatron out